What is up, Reed Scrapers? Welcome to another episode of Star Wars Social Public 2. I forgot to do something. This is actually an opportunity, I think, to uh, help Otis. Good, his name is Otis. And there you go, you've helped out Otis and you've helped out Lunar Shadow Crewman as well at the same time. Now if you remember last episode, this Beth asked us to go and do something and we are going to do it, but there's more that we can do. Uh, in the flop house. I fixed that issue, something was, I just need to clean out my game and then it fixed. Oh, a tech specialist belt. Look at that, dexterity 2, 1 strength, all the, wow, I think that's, that's my new, that is my new belt. You can get the inertial dampener. It's my new belt, guys. So we've got another Thorin, Lasavu. Um, I'm not from Dock Authority. Let me see if I can help. So, out of curiosity, what is your cargo? Cryogenic power cells. Hmm. So, he will give us a, cr a power cell if we help him out. So, we're going to do that. And we get the oh, got a backpack in here with a lot of stuff. Scout Enforcer and our power pulse are Mark II. That's good. Got another one down here. Lutra, that name's familiar. Pretty familiar, actually. Hmm. Sorry, these is not meant to talk to you. I don't know who you are, but you picked the wrong room to break into. Dude, your door was open. No harm done. For a minute, I thought you might have been someone else. My wife, Ada. There's a chance she may be here on Nar Shada. A lot of refugees ended up here after the Jedi Civil War. I came here to see if I could track it down. Thing is, I can't get into the refugee sector. And even if I could, I'm not sure I could find it. I've been here for weeks. Hoping to see her face. All I've done is watch my credit fade away in my fingers. What? Is there any way to get her out? I can't believe she's still alive. This is the best news I've heard in years. Please, whatever you can do, I'd appreciate it. So yeah, that's Lutra, and now that we've spoken to Lutra and seen Lutra, we can tell Ada where Lutra is, and she will go to him. Now here's an ominous looking door that we can't access right now. Oh god, is that going to be something that we do later on in the game? Maybe, possibly. Now let's go do this Beth Guide side quest, and let's go do Lusabu's side quest. And after that we've got even more stuff to do. There's lots of things to do in Arshada. But first and foremost... Let's talk to me about the Sabu. So he's gonna let the Athorian go. I'll let him know. So, just if you help Fa uh, Faza, he will simply just basically just let him go. Now that is so annoying. That looks like it was meant to be something, but was cut from the game. God damn you, Obsidian. Entertainment. Or can I get in through here? Nope. Cut from the game. How annoying. Okay, so that Twi'lek that Osabu, uh, the best scientist was supposed to meet, was supposed to be here. And this pylon, I'm sure it was. Yep, here he is. And he doesn't look too good. Oh, maneuvering flaps. Uh oh. It's a trap! Oh, it's a droid. Whatever shall I do? Yo, Visas, you've got destroyed, droid, don't you? You shock. So, 
So, Twi'lek's dead. The droid tried to kill us. He gave us some awesome droid upgrades. What else is new? This is basically how this game goes. The droids always try and kill you in the end. Apart from T3 and 4. So, let's go back to the Beth Scientist. And tell him what the hell went down. And also talk to Lasavu as well. But after this we're almost, we've just got some, a little bit more to do over near Voga and then we're done. Oh, what the hell, he's gone! And there's an arm! Found signal, droid attacked me, it's deleting my data. We'll try to get away... and didn't make it. And that's that, basically. Yep, that's that. Nothing more you can do there. For that side quest anyway. You can you can depart. And he gives us a power cell. So he's giving us a cryogenic power cell now. That can be used to repair the air speeder, but you can also use it to repair the pylons. Who's better with computer use? None of us actually. I'm actually going to swap um, visas out for Beodar for a bit. And you can level up. Let's up your strength, up your computer use, demolitions, pedantry, injury. Yeah, all that seems good, Beodar. Right, what else do I want to give you? Can I want to give you improved critical strike? Because you need some combat um, feats. And you also need force aura. Because you're pretty weak when it comes to fighting. But yeah, there's only one real reason that I need I want you around Beodor for a bit. I still find it so funny that basically my entire party is full of Jedi right now. I think if you have a high enough computer use, you can optimize the power distribution without using the cryogenic power cell, which is what you want to do. So there you go. That's that done. And you've helped him again. But he doesn't have anything to say about it. Right, so I'm actually going to, now that Beodor has done his little thing, I'm going to take him out and I think I'm going to bring Disciple and Atten, who can also level up. Actually, no, I should up your wisdom. So, because for a counsellor, you've not got really good, <laughs> you know, wisdom. <laughs> Don't know why you're a counselor, you should have been a guardian. And Beodor should have been a goddamn sentinel. Alright, um. I will give you. Uh, improved conditioning. As well as heal. Oh, you get two, because you're a sentinel. No, because you're a counselor. Ooh, you get two powers. Uh, I'm gonna give you battle meditation. Right, so where do we need to go now? Right, so Volga, who we we want to talk to about stuff, is all the way up here. Uh, there's the jet jet tower, but we actually don't need to go into it right now. For there's no reason for us to go in there now. Right. We could, there's nothing we can really do here for now in this warehouse area.
Thank you. That was easy, getting an audience with Volga. Now, I'm not actually sure what happens if you... Let me find out. <laughs> I'm not actually sure what happens if you use security in this door. And use and get in there. Oops, I accidentally used a lightsaber instead. But absolutely zero. There's not even anything in here. So let's talk to him. What happens if we do it with that? Oh, we can't even go near it because the Catherine will growl at you. So can we talk to you? Oh, she ignores you. If I take care of Go, will you agree to ship fuel to Citadel Station? A fair deal for Telos. And that's that basically, that's all we really wanted to do there, uh, was to chase up that quest and now we have a solution to the fuel quest issue. But that's all we can do in the flop house, I will see you guys back at, I believe then the place we need to go to is back to this refugee sector, or the entertainment module. Let's do the, I'll do the refugee sector first, then hit the entertainment module and then we'll be back here. So I'll see you guys at the refugee sector. Okay, so here we are, we're back in the refugee. Now, my belt gives me a plus two to treat injury, so maybe... Hmm. Maybe now? Please let it work. With a plus three to treat injury. My belt. Yes! It worked! We made him better. We got a pure Kunda lens, which is a pretty good lightsaber So you would get influence with Disciple, but I've already maxed out my influence with him, so I don't get any extra. Now, who do I need to talk to? Uh, did I, 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 I sorted out... Oh, I need to talk to you. I actually forgot to trigger that side quest, I think. Or reloaded my save and then <laughs> forgot to do it when I reloaded. Okay, so that's that. So but we can easily fix that. Now I think Otis has already been picked up 
by, yeah, I'm pretty sure she's already been picked up by the Lunar Shadow people. So let's talk to Ada. There's another side quest complete. Thank you for helping out Adana. I was worried about what would happen to him. Gariel says you saved his life. Maybe all of our lives. You've already helped him. Oh, hello again. Okay, so that's I think that's pretty much everything. Seeking passes apart from um we need to do that and do that. Okay, but we're getting stuff down now. There is one more thing I want to do, and that's that land speeder. We should have everything we need to fix it. It doesn't actually do much, in all honesty. Uh, and it stops working after a certain point of Narshida. But it does give you experience for fixing it, I guess, so... Might as well. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we install maneuvering flaps. And install the cryogenic power cells. Uh, where do we want to go? Well, I don't want to go anywhere to these to these places, to be honest. But actually, I do need to go to the landing pad. Do I? Yeah, so I'll see you guys back at the entertainment promenade. Okay, so here we are. Now the reason I wanted to come back here was because I wanted to steal from Volga, essentially. So, so you come here and you can get Jimajus for the cat hounds. So, we got the Jimmy Juice for a discount. Now, let's talk to this guy. What's going on here? Now, this is actually the way to get to Volga's stash. So, you, and if you're a male, you can do this uh, with a uh, handmaiden or another party member that we're going to do. You know, the mask does kind of take away from the whole thing, and the lightsaber, but never mind.
So you do that, you get paid, and you get experience, and you also get to keep the dancer's outfit, which is usable by Handmaiden, Mira, Mitra Surik, gives you Persuade plus two. I think there's some funny dialogue if you speak to Atten or someone with us while on the Ebon Hawk, but we are obviously not going to wear it because it's absolutely terrible in terms of actual... armor. Okay, so with that, then you want to come over here, pour in the Juma Juice into the Kathleen Bowl. Kathleen's will walk over and drink from it. And then they'll fall asleep. And she will not care, she will just ignore you. And then you come over here, break the lock. Boom, we're in. Easy as that. Open up that, we get a short lightsaber and a very pain joint to saber. The short lightsaber is really the... It's really the... The whole... The cool thing really, for right now. Atten's got himself a lightsaber. Which is pretty cool, but obviously he's going to stick to his guns for now. Another Verpine Droid Disruptor. Credits, credits, and an advanced med pack. That's actually a pretty crappy drop, to be honest. But that's that. Um, so the only good thing I got from all doing that was experienced money and a lightsaber for Atten. But we've got a couple of other side quests to complete while we're here. We want to talk to FASA again. Can you help transport family to Telos? So there's nothing we can do until the hijacking problem is sorted, unfortunately. But what we can do is we can come in here and we can turn in the Lutra quest once we come down here. And we got another short lightsaber for completing that. And that's that basically. Uh, I don't think there's anything more for us to do that we can do. So now we're going to go and do landing rights, uh, which is back at the Even Hawk. So I'll see you guys there. I'm going to end the episode here. Thanks for very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel to become a rude scriber and for, to see more of my content. And I hope to see you next time. Take care.